Well, Workhorse went off the rails today. So I had to take action. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my three reasons why I sold my entire workhorse position. It had to be done. I feel good about it now. I'm gonna show you exactly why I feel good about it. I just feel a little lighter. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, I've got Workhorse up here on the Tastyworks platform and I just wanna dive into this and talk about what exactly went on today. Things were crazy this morning in the pre-market as I woke up, saw Workhorse was up huge. And just to give you a little background, I've been accumulating Workhorse shares for some time now and had cost averaged down a little bit. And I saw yesterday's price action and was really encouraged like, okay, maybe we're gonna start grinding higher. And then I saw the open in the pre-market and I saw Workhorse just take off. And I thought to myself, if we get a massive move today on top of yesterday's massive move, I need to take action because if the short sellers come back, this could get kind of bad. This was a short squeeze. I'm gonna get into that as to why it was a short squeeze here in just a second. But I wanna talk quickly about what my thoughts were were going into the open this morning. I said to myself, if it pops up, I'm gonna start selling into this because Workhorse has kind of been a disaster. They lost the contract for USPS. I don't know where that's gonna go because the water's just muddy with that, with Oshkosh and Workhorse. So what I decided to do this morning was to just offload my entire position when it was surging at the open and I feel so good about it. And I'm gonna give you my three reasons why I dumped all my shares this morning. So another quick recap here. You can see right now, the high on the day was $18.33. And just two to three days ago, we were below 10. We were around nine and a half. So you can bet when I saw this move, I was gonna go ahead and take my shares off or a big part of them. I had almost 700 shares at this point and I just don't know that I believe in Workhorse anymore. So I feel bad saying that because I was really bullish on them for a long time. I thought they had a lot going for them, but when they lost the contract and then haven't really challenged things and there's been nothing happening, it just sort of seems kind of dead. So let's dive into my first reason why I dumped all my Workhorse shares. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I wanna to go to finviz.com, type in Workhorse as the ticker, and quickly I just wanna talk about this section right over here. Shares outstanding, about 122.6 million shares. The shares in the float is 112.69 million. And look at this, this is the key to it all. This is reason number one why I'm out. The short float is 42%. Now, what I'm gonna do, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna share the two different ways that you can play Workhorse if you're already in or if you're looking to get into Workhorse. I'm gonna give you two different ways to play this stock. That'll be at the end of this video. But reason number one why I offloaded today was because of this 42.19% short float. That's just massive. That's 42% of their overall shares in the float are short. That just tells me that the, the motivation and the goals behind Workhorse stock is just not aligned with mine for Workhorse. I was looking for Workhorse to innovate, electrify, and have a big contract with USPS and move us beyond combustion engines. But clearly Workhorse is sort of just a proxy for short sellers to just beat up on this and make money on down mood. So for that reason, that's reason number one, that's the reason why I sold this morning. I'm out, 42% short float, I'm not a fan of that. So let's go ahead and close this out and I'm gonna give you reason number two why I sold my stock this morning. And reason number two is just simply because, you know, here's an article in Barron's, Workhorse hasn't challenged the USPS contract award to Oshkosh. So this got really muddy. It was a really strange thing that happened, but everybody was talking about Workhorse getting this contract. And the contract was to electrify the fleet, all electric delivery vehicles for USPS, so we could reduce emissions and move forward beyond combustion engines and lower overall maintenance on these vehicles. So it says Workhorse Group hasn't challenged its failure to obtain this USPS contract and may be running out of time to do so according to sources familiar with the matter. So they're reporting on this and they're just saying that Oshkosh did win the bid in late February. That was very disappointing. Workhorse got destroyed when this happened. And they're reiterating that everyone did think that Workhorse had the edge because they were gonna offer the all electric fleet, which Oshkosh is not gonna do. They're still gonna leave some combustion engines in the fleet and some will be hybrid. So Workhorse is down 70% since February, since this award was made, it's been a complete mess. It's been just a disaster. But after that dump off, I started buying shares of Workhorse. 
thinking, hey, if they challenge this and it goes in the right direction, this could have a massive up move. And I did hear about this, that the representatives from Workhorse did meet with the post office in early March to get additional details when the contract was awarded. And they kept talking about it being this first step and we're gonna keep moving forward, but then nothing really happened. It just kind of stalled there. So it just doesn't seem like they're doing much in terms of challenging this. So my guess is that right now the award is gonna stay with Oshkosh and it's not gonna go to Workhorse. I just haven't heard anything different. If you've heard something different, drop me a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know. I'd love to find an article that describes what's happening currently if Workhorse is taking action. But right now, it looks like Workhorse is just kind of rolling over and really not doing much to try to get this contract back. Because without this contract, I think they have a long grind ahead of them, especially with such a short focus on their stock. And then I want to give you my third and final reason why I sold all my workhorse this morning is simply because of this, Ford. Ford is electrifying a bunch of their fleet. They're going to move into, as we all know, the F-150 Lightning. I'll show you a picture here. But what's happened in my opinion for me, and this is just my take, my opinion, Workhorse was something I really looked forward to, something I thought had legs that was going to go the distance. And quietly, Ford was in the background innovating and building and doing a bunch of work. And they've now come out of the dark and they seem to be wanting to take the lead on electrifying vehicles. I honestly think that Ford is going to heavily compete with the Cybertruck. I think the Lightning F-150 is going to compete. And I get that Tesla is a brand, so you're buying sort of this brand, you're being part of this family. But the Ford F-150 is the best selling vehicle in the country, not the best selling truck, the best selling vehicle. And now it's going to be electric. I think that Ford is going to pull way ahead of Tesla in terms of truck sales with the Cybertruck. Just my opinion, but we'll see what happens on that. And given that they're already electrifying vehicles and having good results and with plans to electrify most of their fleet, I think Ford is the clear bet moving forward in electric vehicles until my mind has changed. If something changes and someone else comes out of the woodwork or one of the companies decides we're going to do something different and it works, then maybe I'll change my mind. But I've been accumulating shares of Ford for a while now. And if you saw Ford's activity, and I'll show that to you real quick, Ford was up massively this morning as well. And I think it's just a good indication for things to come. Bank of America upgraded them from, I think the 14s up into the 17s, maybe 1750 upgrade. So I think Ford has a lot of room to run. It's been such a low price stock for so long that I think it's affordable for anyone to be buying it. I think institutions are gonna go into it. I think there's a bright future ahead for Ford and that is the third reason why I'm getting out of Workhorse. Now, I promised you if you stayed till the end of the video, I'd give you two different ways to play this. And let's go back to the chart. Two different ways to play Workhorse moving forward. If you're interested, if you already own shares, or if you're looking to buy shares, here's what I'm thinking. With a short float, here's play number one. You buy into shares of Workhorse, counting on the short float to stay high. You're looking for a squeeze. What happens when you have a heavy short float is so many people are short the stock that if retail traders get interested and decide to really push the stock higher, you're gonna trigger the stop losses on a lot of these short sellers. And a stop loss is a buy order to close, which just snowballs and turns price action into a rocket to the long side. So you could play workhorse as a meme stock. And that's just like an AMC or a GME. This could get short squeezed even heavier than today. Now today was definitely a short squeeze in workhorse, but you can see once it went up, People took profits and the shorts probably piled back in and pushed it back down. So it's gonna be a tug of war between the bears and the bulls, but if you wanna play the short squeeze, you can get in, hang out here, and wait for the next short squeeze if it happens. That's the first way to play the stock. And the second way is just to simply believe in Workhorse. Have a conviction that you think they are gonna get the USPS contract, or without USPS, do they have a bright future? If you feel they do, accumulate shares. It's dropped all the way back down into the mid 14s right now. You could start accumulating, see where things go, and count on it as a long-term hold. You know, you're committing to saying, I'm gonna hold for the next three to five years. That's another way to approach Workhorse. So you can treat it as a short squeeze or you can go with the long-term play. Either way, I'm out. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you stopping by. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you stick around. And if you got any value out of this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.